in 10, 15 p.m. Central Standard Time on Monday. Trivia on pop culture, comics, music, and all levels of general knowledge. See you every Monday night on the Mr. Burger YouTube channel and the Mr. Burger Mega Trivia Show YouTube channel. Be there and be square. Wow, she's stereotypically loud. <laughs> I need to be able to control the volume on that. Wait, oh my God, my sunglasses. People can see my beady eyes. Hang on a second. All right. Uh, how you tell people how you doing, Vaughn? I'm doing well, man. I got a campaign launching in uh, four days. Uh, ah, yeah, brand yes. website, if you would. Uh, yeah, let me put that in the private chat, too. Oh, crap. Uh, it's, and I've got almost 550 signups. I'm so close, but, uh, yeah, I got some new art coming in this week. Uh, I hit page 49 in, uh, pencils and inks today. Uh, there we go. All right. There we are. And a private chat. You got the link in the private chat? Yeah. Where? There we go. All right. There we are. Hey, hey, there we go. Uh, yeah so uh everyone make sure to check this out um really you know got some really cool stuff coming uh if you sign up you guys have less than four days to sign up for the email list obviously you could sign up after it launches but if you want this exclusive free trading card uh you got to back at day one and uh you know you got to make sure that you have everything in order uh so definitely do that so if you back at day one you will get this trading card for free uh, we also do have uh, Jules turned in her cover also, if you like that art. It's an homage to Final Fantasy VII, which is one of my favorite games ever. I'm doing a video essay, actually. That's another thing I've been working on. I didn't sleep. I had a This weekend destroyed my sleep schedule, and uh, I don't. I think it's going to carry in over the week, which is fine. Um, I've been recording a video essay. I wrote 49 pages, and it is going to be probably a two-hour long video. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, Vaughn, I can tell you a bit on the sleepy side. Or, or, uh, me too. Honestly, uh, I've been doing a lot of late night streams and I'm trying to get out of it. That's the reason why we moved this stream up uh, a little bit uh, on Monday nights. That may have been a regrettable thing because there, I didn't realize there is a lot of competition on Monday night. Yeah, the Diaz uh, Brothers Kings, yeah. I think, is on. Uh, yeah. So uh, what we'll probably end up doing is maybe uh, doing it. There's a little, maybe a little less competition on Tuesday. So we're just finding our footing. Uh, this is the Mr. Burger Show, folks. Uh, go on over there and and support this here uh, cartoon. Well, yeah, uh, uh, it is the animated dream of yours truly, uh, where Mr. Burger uh, uh, goes to prison. Mr. Burger fights. John Malin in a Royale Battle Royale, uh, um, a 30 minute sitcom episode one. Get in on that. We need money to produce it. We want to get this thing up on Tubi, uh, Amazon, a bunch of other streaming services. So we need your help to get Mr. Burger, uh, the cartoon, make it a reality. Uh, we really, really want you to do that. Uh, this is a, a big idea that we've been working on for more than a year. Uh, we have already produced a 30 minute sitcom. We want to get that quality up, folks. So, go on over to the uh, Mr. Burger channel and uh, 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 check that out. Do a ten dollar, uh, do a ten dollar, ten dollar uh, uh, pledge, will you? Come on, come on, come on. I know the economy's bad, but come on. Uh, now enough of that begging. <laughs> uh, let's get into it before I pass out. Uh, uh, oh, hang on a second. Let me turn on the old camera. Uh, and you didn't come here to see me and uh, Vaughn with our, our tin cups out uh, uh, and all the rest of that kind of stuff. Although uh, it's for a good cause. Vaughn has a great comic book, Phenomenova. Go check that out. Uh, 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 link is in the chat. I think I'm going to put it in a description uh, at the end of this uh, particular one. Remind me to put that in the de prescri uh, prescription, description. And uh, and the Mr. Burger Show on Indiegogo. Go check both of those out, please. But before uh, we uh, shill more of that, let's play some of this. Oh, fine. Any idea? 
Hands is in the chat. Some of these are going to be repeat. Time's over on fe uh, toxic femininity, but anemone. All right, Brian Norton, David D. But I don't know. Oh <laughs> God, I love that song. <laughs> Got to start this thing off right with a bunch of gin. All right, here we go. That is a uh, AFM, AFI, uh, Miss Murder, uh, late nineties, kind of a okay. uh, rhythmic, dancey rock thing that they used. Yeah, to do. I knew it was uh, <laughs> late. 2000s early or early 2000s late 90s and it was or or 90s and it was somewhere <laughs> in that range that's right that's right sorry about the coughing folks i'll tell you what let's get into a bit of uh uh full-on quiz show here we go vaughn general knowledge general to, to tv knowledge here we go read that will you sam beckett is the star of which show now, this is an unconventional method. I don't know if it counts as cheating, but <laughs> I'm going to go and look and see if Sunspot's favorite show is Magnum P.I. Uh, is it Sam? I'm going to say... Becky, Becky, Becky. It's not Magnum P.I. Is it? I'm no, it's Magnum P.I. It's not Magnum P.I. I'm going to guess Quantum Leap. All right, I would, uh, I'd be strong with that. There we go, quantum leap. All right, let me justify it just a little bit. There we go. The next question comes up Josiah Bartlett is the president of, of which West Wing. Show? Uh, 24, Homeland, uh, West Wing, or Gray's Anatomy? Oh, Put my your hands in the chat. Again, I talked over Am I allowed to say it? Uh, yeah, go ahead. All right, West Wing. All right, you have all to right. watch it. I did an economics through uh, film class in college, and it was the only class, shockingly, you know, to no one's surprise, the only class where a a professor disclosed their political bias, and it was also happened to be my only openly conservative professor. Imagine that. All right, well, there you go. <laughs> it's almost like there's a default. <clears throat> Josiah Rises YouTube. What the? Minor Zircon. Remember for three months. Uh, Trump is the only president. <laughs> only? What about George Washington? All right. Captain Bipto. Let's see what Captain Bipto has got to say. Probably something crazy. Uh, what is the name of the first The first name of this tele uh, television comedian? Haddish. Is it Kelsey, wow. Courtney, Tiffany, or Melanie? My dessert con, there we go. Bad uh, tech. All right, there we go. Let's see what Captain Bigo has to say. Uh, we don't need explanations why you know the answer. Hey, hey, knock it off, Captain <laughs> No, it's true. It's funny. Uh, I'm going to go with Tiffany. I know it's, I just didn't know if I should say it. I don't know what she's known for. TV, she's a comedian. Yeah, she's not very funny. Uh, 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 yeah, Burger 2028, buddy. <laughs> Or hey, who? Uh, let's see. All right, 22 people are in here. Hey, we're racking up some numbers here on a, on a Monday night. Here we go. Uh, what do you got? Carrie Bradshaw is a character on what television show? Breaking Bad. That would be funny. Sex in the City. Friends. Who? And The Good Place. First season was great. Everything else was trash. David D is the, the time when time is not here. Uh, there we go. I'm gonna guess because this sounds yeah. like a it's definitely not Friends or Breaking Bad, certainly not Breaking Bad. I'm gonna guess Sex in the City because I don't give a shit about Sex in the City, <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Captain Bitto causing problems. Sluts <laughs> 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 Captain Bitto, I swear to God, Captain Bitto is about to get his own t shirt. That's uh, so funny. Uh, so let's see. Bond was right. Tell me your answer again, Bond. It's got to be Sex in the City because it's. Yeah, I, mean, I, don't right. really, I don't know the good place either, but. 
It's actually okay. a good show. First season is good. Mm -hmm. uh, Ellen Pumpo, Pumpano, uh, the star of oh, which successful TV show, NCIS, Boo, Chicago PD, Trash, Grey's Anatomy, Boring, uh, The Big Bang Series, Sucks. Laugh Track. Uh, yeah, Big Bang Theories, they're fake nerds, too. Yeah. Uh, they, they, they always parrot, like, basic bitch knowledge as if it's a comic <laughs> fan. And I'm like, fuck off. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I'm gonna go with uh, Grey's. No, I'm gonna go with uh, Grey's Anatomy. We've tapped. We've triggered Vaughn on the Big Bang Theory. Oh my God! Uh, Dude, there's one movie. time where they're like talking about bat this guy who's a Batman expert. It's like this, this cit citing the '60s show as his knowledge. I'm like, this sounds like my mother. This doesn't sound like a Batman fanatic. Uh, what was the answer there, Vaughn? I missed oh, it. I was fucking. Uh, I was Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, Grey's Anatomy. Okay. It was just Ernest. A Ernest Earn Max, the character of what television comedy was it? Atlanta, uh, Insecure, Curb Your Enthusiasm, or The Good Place? Put your answers in the chat. Put your answers in the chat. Huh, Radnat thinks it's Curb. I watched Curb. I've never heard of this guy. Well, but, but apparently, must be later seasons, dude. David D also concurs. Don't necessarily take that as right. Ernest saves Halloween. Uh, I'm gonna Christ. go with Atlanta. <clears throat> I. Oh my God, Von Coleman! I know it. That this was the guess. That was literally just a guess. I had no idea. This week, ladies and gentlemen, Von Coleman dominating this week. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, Bobby, Jr. and Lucy were characters on what television show? Uh, Dukes of Hazard, Dynasty, Miami Vice, or Dallas? I know this one. I, I haven't seen any of these shows. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go it, with it's an old person's thing, Vaughn. Mm, what's the oldest of these shows? The very old man thing. All right, I'm gonna guess. When is Dukes of Hazard? Uh, no. All right, fuck. <laughs> Oh, there's a 25% chance, though. So. Take another. You got a second. Uh, Dynasty. Miami nope. Vice. Miami Vice. Fuck! Minus Zircon coming in with the big answer. Way to go. Rabbit coming in with a big answer. Here, way to go. King of the Hill. Awesome one is clearly drunk. All right, moving on. Uh, this ought to be an easy one. Go ahead. Uh, the Starship Enterprise is featured. Featured in what television show? Is it Doctor Who? Is it Manifest, which was a garbage television show? Seinfeld, uh, who the hell cares? And Star Trek. <laughs> uh, David D. Starship that was all Star about Trek. speed. That was all about speed. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty obvious there. That was all about speed. <clears throat> Whoever could get that in quick enough. Sorry, my uh, artist was messaging me. All right. Fanta couldn't make it. She uh, had a little bit of a family issue. Oh, we hope sorry. we hope that she works it out. She's a good lady. All right. That's called Star Trek. All right. Coming on up. Coming on up. Uh, a little bit of this or that. A little bit of this or that coming up. Winter is coming was the slogan for what television show? Stranger Things. And Maiden's Tale, Game of Thrones, Thrones, and Game of Thrones. What say you, Von Coleman? Game of Thrones, because I saw those fucking ads everywhere when I was uh, <laughs> walking around Boston. So, if it's not that, I have officially lost my mind. But nope. Winter has nothing to do with Stranger Things. I don't know. Although there is the one part where they're in uh, that commie shithole in season four, but otherwise. <laughs> Van Coleman on a rampage, folks. He's all over the place. I can't control him. All right, here we go. Yeah, let's go. I've Thrones. never seen Game of Thrones, actually. Racking up the points, destroying all newcomers. Here we go. Pretty decent crowd on a on Monday night. Which uh, television character did? Mayim Bialik play on a television show in the 90s was it Blossom, 
Boo. Daisy. Boo. Susanna. Boo. And Katie. Boo. I don't know. Uh, Maim Bialik. Uh, yeah. Otherwise known as Sheldon's girlfriend. Oh. Okay. But this was way before that. She was a kid when this uh, this show was around. She's a kid. Uh, I'm gonna guess Susanna because I have no idea what the fuck else. I don't know. I have no idea. That's all right. Ah. Answer is Blossom. What show? Uh, uh, Blossom. Uh, this was a. It was a really bad. I think I watched maybe a couple episodes and never watched it again. Very girl friendly show. Mm. Uh, Bo and Luke Duke uh, were the surnames of what popular 80s television show? Lord, the Lords, uh, Prince, King, or Duke? Duke, Luke Duke, Bo Duke, Bo Prince, Bo You're King. You're barking up the right tree there, Von Coleman. Luke Duke, I feel like makes sense. Bo Duke. Yeah, Bo you're barking up the right tree. Bo looking look looking all right i have no idea i'm gonna guess i'd stay with that one king no fine i'm not trying to duke 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 it was of course duke dukes of hazards dukes of hazards Ah, okay yeah i have no idea any of these shows uh minor zircon is back and he's gone looney tunes that's right uh all right. Gordon Ramsay's is famous for doing what kind of television show? Oh, that's easy. Singing, playing golf, dancing, or cooking. Cooking. Hail Best West. I just realized it looked like I was naked. I'm wearing shorts, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you for that, Von Coleman. All right, here Please. we go. Put your answers in the chat, folks. Put your answers in the chat. Fish dips. Jesus. I swear Captain Tipto is a menace. Uh, 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 put your answers in the chat, folks. Five, four, three, two, one. Answer is uh, cooking. Gordon Ramsay, cooking. There you go. Vaughn, so confident. Didn't even say it, but we know he got it. No, oh, I thought I said right. cooking. No, I said cooking. Okay, good, good, good. All right, there we go. Come on, because he's always like, that's raw. Like, it's all the memes, so... Chrissy Teigen. Uh, uh, yeah, I know this one. Whatever. Chrissy Teigen is married to which singer? Oh, God. Justin Timberlake, devil worshiper. Lionel Richie, Cuck. Chris Martin, uh, drug addict. And John Legend, all around piece of shit. All right, what's your answer there, Von Coleman? Well, it's John Legend. Uh, all around piece of shit, John Legend, absolute commie, dirtbag. Well done. Everybody knows that. What a fucking filthy piece of crap that guy is. Oh uh, God, I can't stand John, John Legend. All right, here we go. Kira Piper and Kiri Piper and Stevie are sisters on what television show? Right, Buffy the Vampire go. Slayer, Twin Peaks, Charmed, or Angel? I'm gonna Crew. guess Crew Piper and Stevie. I'm gonna guess Charmed. Yep, I would say something to do with three witches. Yeah, Captain Bifto, of course, with the ridiculous answer, the Walton. What's the Walton? Absolutely nonsense. Uh, it is, of course. Charmed. By the way, these points count. Any new questions? Any new questions? The new questions count. New questions count. Uh, and <laughs> Debbie does <laughs> that. Minor Zircon ruining the party. Uh, there we go. David D. The time when Tom is not here. Charmed. All right, folks. That's it for this round. Let's do a little bit of plug and con- uh, let's see. Here we go. Let's get uh, this back up on screen. Oh, God. There we go. Let's get this back up on screen. 
Come on. There we go. So here we Come go. On. We got my comic book, Phenomenova. This is the latest of there's going to be four covers at launch, and everyone will get an exclusive free mini print, so keep your eye out for that. But uh, this is done, of course, by uh, Julia Lenahan, a.k.a. Juju. Here's the whole creative team. Um, and it, it is set 20 years after World War III. Here's my second variant cover. And it follows the adventures of a teenage boy who is struck by lightning while holding a mysterious crystal and finds himself awakened <clears throat> with lightning powers and super speed and decides to become a hero and be part of the next generation inspired by those that came before him. Instead of uh, being like most modern writers where they're just trashing the past, I wanted to carry on the torch and inspired by everything, you know, that I love up here. You know, I was going through some Claremont X-Men earlier. So if you love that stuff and want to see, like, the spirit of a hero with a new flavor and new characters, make sure to sign up. Or if you just want a fresh new story, make sure to join the sign-up list and you will be able to get this exclusive free trading card right here if you back it on day one. So make sure you guys do yeah. that. All right. Thank you, Monty. And, and, and folks, it's in the chat. Minor Zircon, Minor Zircon, uh, we cannot take Super Chats anymore. Go to the Mr. Burger uh, 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 Indiegogo campaign and pledge there. Pledge on Mr. Burger. We can't take Super Chats no more. We really can't. We can't. They don't get to us. Uh, bon Coleman's uh, Phenomenova in the chat, folks. Here, I'm dropping it in. There it is right there. Click the link and get on over there and back that cartoon. Get on over there. Back the cartoon. Back the comic book. Well, back the cartoon oh, too. <laughs> uh, back that. Back that comic book. It's really super great. Uh, we love you. We love this kid. And there you go. All right, folks. Let's do a little bit of uh, uh, one more little plug. Let's just do this one, right? Oh, hello, my little Liebchen. My name is Wilhelm Pickle. You may call me Willy Pickle. I am the one that brings the sexy to Burger Town. Now, what I want you to do is go to our YouTube channel, Mr. Burger. Give it a like. Watch the videos. Thumbs up. Become a member. Also, go to fundmycomics.com and find Mr. Burger and support our comic. Now, please, be super sexy. I know you want to be. Auf Wiedersehen. If you do back uh, our, uh, our, uh, our our show here, uh, you will get a free, I think, either a bumper sticker or a mug and or cup. It will be your choice between a damn you Chad Crypto cup or a Mr. Burger uh, goes to prison cup. Uh, if you buy this, everyone that backs this in the first 30 days gets either a bumper sticker or a coffee cup. Uh, your ch bumper sticker poster, excuse me, or a coffee cup. So you get to choose. You back it in the first 30 days, you get a bumper sticker or a coffee cup. Uh, bumper sticker, coffee cup, or, uh, fuck, uh, excuse me, a bumper sticker, a poster combo, or a coffee cup. If you back this in the first 30 days, you have to present, you have to show me your, uh, uh, backer number, what backer you are, <clears throat> and you will get a coffee cup or a poster and a bumper sticker. All right, that is it. Uh, let's get back on this with a new segment, Vaughn, called... Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. This or that. Here we go. Hey. Would you rather Nutella pizza or... Pizza with actual food on it. Answers in the chat. Depends on the occasion, man. You know what I mean? Like, fuck. Actually, one, one quick question. Cecil will be in the cartoon. He will be in the cartoon. Yes, he will be in the cartoon. I'm going to go with... Because mm, I, I know the... Generally speaking... Depends. I'm gonna go with Nutella for this because I've never really had Nutella pizza. So You're a weird, weird. Kid. I would do pizza every other occasion, but I'm for, I've had pizza all the time. All good named pizza, good natured people chose savory. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> all right.
right, sushi. Our sushi oh, chips. You know, this I don't eat a lot of sushi. Uh, I don't know if, if so. I guess I'll go with fish and chips. Uh, I actually could go either way. Uh, I actually could go either way. Oh my God, Brian Norton has turned against us. Uh, uh, put your answers in the chat. Put your answers in the chat. Put your answers in the chat. A lot of fish and chip. Here we go with cheese. Uh, world chip. World cheese, especially with tomato soup. I mean, that's just unbeatable. Uh, that is good, and I am okay about frozen yogurt. There was that one. Do you remember that one trend for like a, a year or so, where it just suddenly there were just frozen yogurt places opening everywhere. up everywhere. Everywhere. All right, so it was, it it was just, it was near me, and I was like, "What's the? This is just like ice cream, but pricier." Yeah, I just, uh, I, 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 I can eat it. I'm okay with it. I'm just not. Uh, it doesn't blow my socks off, Vaughn. It I really just don't doesn't. Remember anything that was like so? Uh, it was like okay. I mean, it's like just like ice cream, but like not like. I don't yeah, know. It, it's just I don't know what the big. It's like macaroni and cheese, custom macaroni and cheese. I never really got into the whole eighteen different variations of macaroni and cheese. But anyway, moving on. You know what pisses me off is when they call. Like pasta with cheese, macaroni, and it's like no, it has to be macaroni to be mac and cheese. I I, I agree wholeheartedly. It'd be like penne with cheese, and I'm like, that's not mac and cheese. All right, and panna. I don't know if I've had pan panna cotta. It's basically a very thick cream cheese, jello-like substance, and creme brulee. I'm going with creme brulee. I I mean I. I don't really. It's a European thing. It's a European thing. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm gonna go with panna cotta. I guess I don't know. I mean, I, I guess I would try both, but like, really, we got a lot of panna cotta. I don't we know. Got a lot of that in that like, chat, huh? You make <laughs> you and me both. All right, uh, here we go. Let's keep going. Uh, I would probably go with creme brulee on this one. Yeah, now I'm hungry, dude. See what we got coming up next. Uh, easy onion rings. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't, first of all, I, I don't like glazed donuts. I mean, I could have it, but like, I prefer like a chocolate donut or frosting. As as do I, but like I said, I'm very gluten intolerant. Both of these are actually quite bad for me. Yeah. But uh, I, I I would have an easier time with onion rings, and I would just prefer onion rings. I'm gonna go with glazed donuts. Really? Yeah, I never really got into onion rings. I don't know. Wow, you look like an onion ring kind of guy, but I guess not. Moving My metabolism on. is I don't know. I have a nice uh, fast metabolism, I guess. Do you radiate onion rings? I don't know where this is coming from. You do. <laughs> All oh, right. Oh, this is a tough one. Really? Well, actually, you know what? No, it's not. No, it's not. Actually, it's not. The more I think about it, no. I'm going to go with baked cookie, especially if it's gooey. Right. If it's gooey. Yeah. No, no question. Uh, actually, uh, baked cookie. Baked cookie all day, every baked day. cookie. I don't even I know why I hesitate. I fucking hate. I fucking hate. Cookie dough ice cream. It's overrated. There are much better flavors. I used to like it when I was little, until but there's always a better chocolate. Whenever there's a cookie dough ice cream, there's always a better cookie related flavor. You know what I mean? Listen, are all the people in the in, in the guy in the uh, chat just going for ice cream as ice cream? Are you are or do or you genuinely like cookie dough ice cream? Cookie dough ice cream is is definitely there are better there are better variants of cookie dough ice cream than cookie dough ice cream. Uh, I'm not a fan. Not a fan. It's it's. It, I would eat it before I would eat mint chocolate chip. Oh, but that well, that's that's a mint chocolate chip sucks. Garbage. Day, day Garbage flavor. Don, Von Coleman redeeming himself, folks. <laughs> redeeming himself in a big way. Here, let's move on. It's like uh, that's got to be one of the worst flavors of ice cream, honestly. It's like Brian Norton nut. All right, uh, ice cream sandwich or burger? Well, that's, that's 
crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at, well, the, the, this is not a fair comparison because one is like a dessert and one isn't. Now, that being said, dude, have you ever had insomnia cookie uh, ice cream sandwiches? Like those I've heard of ones? them. I've heard of them. Like to die for. Now, that being said, I mean, I've had some pretty great burgers. Oh, man, this is messed up. I'm an American. These are this is a tough call for me. I love both. Uh, easy. <laughs> I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna. I have to be honest. I'm gonna go with the ice cream sandwich. Wow. I do generally like. Obviously, I think burgers all are the more goodwill more. Von Coleman has built up out the fuck. I have a su- I have a sweet tooth. I do. Uh, uh, a burger all the way. How could I not choose burger? Yeah, well, that was an obvious choice. I love burgers. Wait a man. Rabnet saying something crazy. Let me see what's going. What's going on here? I hate lettuce. Well, I'm, I'm kind of a big I'm kind of the same sliced way. tomato, but you do like a burger. But I still like a burger, you? right? Like I don't love often. I'm only just now getting back into try and ease my way into lettuce and tomato because I feel like I've been unhealthy, but <laughs> I, cause I've, I used to always just take it off and I'm trying, uh, onions. I'm still not there yet, but you know, I do love burgers, man. I usually get like double generally try to get some bacon. Uh, the other, the, actually like a week ago, I had one with avocado and pork. Uh, now I'm getting hungry. Now I'm getting hungry. Now I'm getting. Hungry. I'm re- I, I was I was neutral there for a minute, but uh, um, yeah, I'm getting hungry now. Me too. All right, let's move on. I'm gonna eat as soon as. God, I feel like I betrayed America by saying that. <laughs> salad or fried, oh, fried chicken. chicken? Come on, fuck out of here with salad. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on, <wouldn't> you? <laughs> All right, moving on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, jump back. Come on, hold on. We'll jump back. Ah. Oh, man, we're hey, spoiling a lot really, of good ones. We really jumped back. Okay, sorry about that. I'm going to start pausing it down here. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, All right, here we go. Uh, we're moving forward. We're moving forward, and I'll pause it. Fat fingers. All right, here we go. Now. Ribs. Ribs. Literally, this is, there's no chance. Anyone who says popsicles <laughs> is a communist. <laughs> popsicles is just like, it's it's like if you're, if there's no good ice cream around, you settle for a popsicle. I agree. You know, I it's agree. Like if there is like, if there's literally, if there's no actual ice cream, if there's no, even if I'm going to like an ice cream stand or, or truck or something, popsicles is like, like option C or D, you know, there's like always <laughs> something like if they have, uh, if they have like the Oreo one or the Reese's one, I'll take it. If they have a chip, which I'll take it. If they have the fucking Spider-Man I will, one, I'll uh, take it. Witch. Now you're talking. Yeah. Now you're talking. Popsicles, maybe, but ribs, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, right, I've never roll. had curly. Uh, uh, I don't curry. know. Curry. Uh, I mean, listen, I mean, my uh, my mom, my sister like a Kai bowl, so I associate that with uh, being a woman, so I'm going to have to go with curry. Curry, myself, is, it needs to be a little bit on the mild side. Oh, I can't handle it. I got a sensitive stomach. It needs to be mild. I cannot. Uh, it, the mildest tandoori <laughs> is about as far as I can go. I don't think I've ever had curry. Curry is actually delicious. Uh, I don't know. It's really, really good. It's a, it's, uh, it's a British thing, really. Mild tandoori is where I'm at. Eat it all the time in London. Chocolate milkshake or hot chocolate? Chocolate fucking milkshake. Easy. Yeah, I gotta go with. The, I mean, I love both. I love. I mean, so chocolate is like my favorite thing ever. Uh, but I'm gonna have to go, especially chocolate peanut butter. But I'm gonna have to go with. If I have to choose between the two, I mean, unless it's if it's cold out hot chocolate, but otherwise, gotta go with milkshake. You gotta go with the milkshake. 
milkshake all the way. If it, man, I can be in fucking Siberia and I'd still, yeah, I'd still get a milkshake. That's a good, <laughs> I, I would be, I could be in the Antarctic and I still do milkshake. Here we go. All right. Fucking icy pop. Yeah, icy head. pop. Get the fuck, fuck out of here. <laughs> Gotta go burrito. Fuck off. <laughs> Ice burrito. pop again. It's the same category as popsicles. It's like. Uh, if I had 10 seconds to live, I'd choose burrito. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> burrito. Burritos are so good, dude. I would I would never pick a, an ice pop. Get out of town. Like again, that's like the same level as popsicle. It's it's just if there's nothing else, maybe. But if I have a burrito or a popsicle, it's not even a question. Not even a question. Agreed, hundred percent. Brian Norton, how do you get a burrito where you're at? All right, what? Things in Japan. Oh, that's trash. Well, that makes make him money even more. Oh, quesadilla, easy. Yeah, in this situation, salad. Uh, uh, yeah, hey man, should I love me a fruit salad? Yeah, fruit love salad's it. good. It's better yeah, than a. I, I it's actually like play. an actual edible salad. But a quesadilla, especially one that's built up like that. Yeah. Uh, no yeah. Question. Guac. No question. Get that guac on no there. No question. Quesadilla all the way. Oh, yeah. Barbacoa or just straight shredded, uh, shredded, shredded, shredded chicken or beef or pork. I don't care how you do it. Sour cream, guacamole, salsa on the side, all the way. God damn, I am getting hungry. Here yeah, we go. me too, dude. I, I, I'm i going to have to eat something. Yeah, me too. A bagel or burger? Burger. 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 Well, I would go with a bagel. I'm redeeming bagel myself. <laughs> I'll go with a bagel burger. Uh, although that, that, bagel, that bagel sandwich does look pretty good. But it's uh, a burger. I have to redeem myself. Also, I, I do genuinely prefer burgers. Ah, uh, I do like go. bagels. Don't get me wrong, you know, especially I'm near New York. You know, New Jersey has decent bagels. New York has really good bagels. But uh, man, burgers. man, 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 I am actually this fuck. I'm no fucking around. I'm actually getting me too. Uh, 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 the burger, burger, obviously. Yeah, obviously, obviously. Ice cream taco or hot taco? You gotta go with shit. I gotta go with a hot taco, I'll say. I do love me some ice cream. Uh, uh ice tea or, or did we skip some stuff? Because we were uh, at hot taco and ice cream taco before. Yeah, ice cream taco. Sorry about that, folks. I keep hitting slip my fat fingers. So do you want me to choose? I'll say iced tea. I mean Arnold Palmer is this shit. Oh, Vaughn, you're a good man. A Long Island iced tea. Someone said Vaughn has oh. redeemed himself. Vaughn has redeemed himself. God, Arnold thank Palmer, God. I need to get more of them. I used to have, uh, like, I used to have cases of them. Dave in a fucking bathtub of oh, Arnold Palmer. Palmer. Oh, my God. I, used I to, love an Arnold Palmer. I Any day, all what, or, or a, what we down here, we have what's called a Tiger Woods, which what's is that? actually pretty good, which is lemonade and Coke. Uh, 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 it's very, very good. Doesn't sound good, but it actually is very, very good. Uh, go ahead, uh, Vaughn. What do you think here? Uh, Frappuccino looks good, but uh, to be honest, maybe it's just Starbucks logo, but it just, it just feels, screams feminine. I mean, guess, I guess both of these pictures are feminine. I just had hot coffee. Frappuccino. I don't, have I had a Frappuccino? I like whipped cream and caramel sauce. But I have Not coffee. I'm becoming addicted to coffee. It's a problem, actually. I just was drinking one because um, I have to be up. I probably shouldn't have wow, drank it at this a, late hour. What a, what a stereotypical writer thing. <laughs> yeah, I know it is. I started, you know what it is? I'm hanging out with goddamn women too much. <laughs> but yeah, that's a stereotypical writer thing. I'm going to have to abstain. I don't like either one of these things. I'm going to go I do not coffee. like caramel sauce at all. Really? I don't like it. No. Caramel and chocolate I like, but uh, the caramel on its own is disgusting. What about uh, those, um, what are they called? The like ones, you, the little ones you put in your, the Werther's? I hate those, are those the, fucking you, things. What? what? Werther's are awesome. I, I love hate Werther's. Werther's. Oh, man. I love Quickest Werther's. way to get me the fuck out of a room is to start <laughs> serving Werther's. I fucking hate Werther's. 
I love wearing this. Butterscotch or caramel will get me to jump the fuck out a window. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, I did hot coffee. Slice filled ball. You mean like a cream puff? Or is it uh, what or a jelly a donut? A jelly donut or nuggets? Uh, uh, nuggets, dude. Dinosaur nuggets, especially. Come on. <laughs> a kid from the 90s. <laughs> All right, the early 2000s. Uh, of course they are. You want to? You can. You can stick one of those out of a window, and people of Vons. <laughs> was that only? My, I thought that was did that. Is that a more recent thing? I thought Dino Nuggies had been around for a while. No, they no. haven't. No, mm -hmm. no. They're a late two thousand. I mean, early two thousand type of thing. They really wow. have not been around for a long time. I'm sorry you didn't grow with Dino Nuggies. They're I did cool. not. <laughs> All right. All right, I, but I'm gonna have to go with nuggets myself. There you nuggets go. are the shit. <coughs> McDonald's nuggets. I mean, they're probably horrible. For, they are horrible for hot chocolate sauce or Nutella. <coughs> well, no. Come on, this isn't even a choice. Come on, you shouldn't even have to think about this. Are you right. kidding? I'm gonna go with the hot chocolate sauce. There you go. Thank God. I thought that Vaughn was slipping there for a minute, folks. Sorry mm -hmm. about that. Uh, of course, no, it's hot chocolate, especially if it's hot. Like if it's if it's like the colder or room temperature, then it's not as good. But when it's hot, of course, of course. There you go. There you go. Thought it was slipping there for a second, folks. He's all right. All right, here we go. Nutella is okay. I can only it do is it good. in like pancakes or crepes. Fuck out of here, cucumber rolls, the cockles. They're good, but I'm not gonna take them over a fucking taco. <laughs> <laughs> taco, I, easy. listen, I, I love me a cucumber roll, but over a taco, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Hell no, hell no, hell no. Uh, anywho, moving on. Hmm. All right, that was easy. <laughs> Uh, hot pancake. Who would? Who, wait, what? Who would choose cold pancakes? My uncle. My uncle will eat those fucking things ice cold. He'll take Why? them right out of the fridge. Uh, uh, put some uh, uh, jelly on them, plum jelly on them, and eat them like it's. I'm disgusted by it. I I'm didn't know people even it. did that. That sounds like inhumane. My dad used to do it too. My dad used to do. He used to do chocolate syrup right out of the fridge, right on top of them. Disgusted by it. <laughs> Disgusted. I, I didn't even know that that was an option. Fucking, we got one of one, a freak in the chat. Look at it. <laughs> awesome ones are freak. Boo hot. that man. No, he's he's Boo saying hot, yeah, hot <laughs> pancakes easily. I mean, I just get the cold pancakes out of here. Un uh, unbelievable. Yeah, definitely. Last one. Here we go. Oh, wait, one more. Oh, my God. All right, there we go. One more. Oh, hot chop. Hot. I, I do love ice cream cake. Uh, I might have to go with ice cream cake, frankly. I do love ice cream cake. <laughs> but this one, this is hot, a weird hot, one. A lava cake. I, I love a lava cake. Don't get me wrong. But if if there's 10,000 lava cakes on the table and one ice cream, I'm going for the ice cream. I love lava cakes. But I'm telling you, <laughs> yeah, I'll eat a bad. The only thing again, mint chocolate, no. Especially if no. they have crunchies. If the listen, the ice cream cake in this picture, I don't think it's doing it. It's like a weird like mix mix between cake and ice cream cake. You give me like like a, an ice cream cake with with crunchies on it. Oh my god, and frosting. I gotta go with that. Uh, yeah, I do me love too. hot chocolate cake. That sounds that's amazing, but I'm gonna go with ice cream cake. And cookie puss until I die. Uh, uh, all right, I think no, that's that's, that's right. gonna wrap it up for this segment. Vaughn, let me put this thing right back up here. Okay, here we go. There you go. Phenomenova launches in just a few days, guys. Make sure you get those wallets ready. I'm gonna be releasing the tiers soon. Four covers in every single order, you'll get an exclusive free mini print. And if you sign up for the mailing list and back within the first 24 hours, you will get this exclusive 
free trading card. So make sure you get your hands on that. You're not going to want to miss out on this. It is 64 pages of story, 68 pages total. And uh, it's got some incredible art. It's uh, I put my heart and soul into this. I've rewritten it over and over. It's set 20 years after World War III and follows a teenage boy who gets lightning powers. And he strikes out to become like the heroes that fought before him, only to find himself fighting a supervillain that is totally out of his league. And if you want to know what that villain looks like, there will be um, both a cover by Rini with him and a mini print of him dropping this week. So make sure to keep an eye on all of that, follow all the socials, and of course, most importantly, sign up for that email list. Uh, if Let me you tell have you, this kid has worked hard. He's oh, yeah. out there hustling, hustling every day, this kid. Hustles yeah. more than your average black man. Uh, support this book. He is all over X. He's in everybody's face, and we love him for him. It's a good book. Soon as it, uh, soon as it's uh, able, Vaughn, by the end of this week, I'm uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sign up for that. Watch Thank you. Please do remind me. I am I'm gonna support this kid. Oh, Seven ways good. from Sunday. He's Thank a you. good guy. Good guy. Excellent writer. And I'm definitely gonna be. This is top of my pull list uh, for this year, folks. All Thank right, you. let's do a little bit more of the musical trivia. Here we go. God, I am hungry. Seriously, no joke. I'm not yeah, me, no, I'm yeah. not joking. Like, cause I'm gonna get to work back work on some comic stuff, but I'm gonna be eating while I do it after this. I wasn't that I, I ate before this stream. I'm hungry again. I am I am I'm legit fucking hungry. Uh uh, yes, the Dairy Queen cakes, ice cream cakes. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm so fucked up about this. I may end up getting one tomorrow. Uh anyway, uh, here we go. Pack the car and leave this town. Like the Jimmy trying to remember when it's gone, then get tried. I am so sorry about that, Vaughn. I, really I don't know what the hell that was. That that know. oh god, that's horrible. Put put the answers in the chat. That's uh, I apologize to the chat. I apologize to you. I apologize to the world for playing that. I am so 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 sorry. So sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh David D. All right, there we go. Hold on. Let me get this back up. Oh, God, I, I, I hate to do this twice. I, I'm so sorry, Mark. <laughs> I don't know. You know, the mid-90s people kind of they kind of lost their minds. Mm. Uh, some people obviously from that went deaf, you know, mm. partially temporarily deaf. Uh, uh, that is, of course, uh, bare naked ladies. Oh, okay. Me. Uh, yeah, I know the worst one. thing Canada has ever done. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the, the worst thing Canada has ever done. Ever, wow, worst thing. I blame Canada and will until the day I die. Uh, anywho, <laughs> here we go. Uh oh, what happened? What happened? What happened, folks? I triggered it, but we got nothing. There we go. Just took a second. Oh, oh, Fellas, y'all ready to do this? All right, there we go, folks. Put the answers in the chat. Put the answers in the chat. Oh, my chat is. My chat's freaking out. My chat is freaking out. What's happening? Captain Bitbell's done. Captain Bitbell's throwing me off. Something's going on. Captain Bitbell is throwing me off. Man, that cat is just, the guy's a menace, man. I'm telling you. This is some kind of trick. I can't I can't look at the chat. Uh but it's uh bo boys to men. Uh and You got it, you got it, Vaughn. I don't you got it. it. Begins with an M. Mo. Mo, I don't know. Ah, uh, boys to men, he got almost got it there, Vaughn. Almost got it. It was uh, boys to men, Motown, Philly. There you go. All right, yeah, I wouldn't have guessed that. Uh, Captain Bipto, I don't know what he's up to. I'm what is Captain Bipto? I'm keeping an eye on him. They gotta watch that dude. They'll come in and cause mayhem. Gotta be, you gotta be careful of that dude. All right, here we go. We're going with another one. Uh. <laughs> Right now, let me get to it. Here we go. Uh, let's 
see. Oh, God. Again, I apologize, Vaughn, but uh, we'll do what we got to do. Uh, hang on. Uh, I know that song. I don't. Is it Coldplay? Oh, uh, yes, it is. But yeah. what's the song, Vaughn? I'm almost hoping you don't know this. <laughs> I know a few of their songs. Shut your mouth, thing. Captain Bipto. You're treading on thin ice. You I don't shut know. Your mouth. Uh, I don't know what's the name of the song. That is, God help me. That is, uh, <laughs> that is Coldplay, The Scientist. Can you believe people actually pay to go see these fucking people in concert? What a, what a depressed world we live in. <laughs> uh, 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 all right. Uh, let me hit you again with one more and then we'll do a plug. Uh, and then we'll, we're getting close to, Wrapping it up. Let's hit you with another one. Please, God, let me find something better. Uh, one Punch Man Tolkien fans that love that song. All right, here we go, Vaughn. All right, they're clearly British. No, they're actually American. What? Yes, they're American. That was the most British sounding American. Uh, very fat guys. <laughs> I've no, uh, no, I did you. notice that. Um, they're, they're, they're extremely fat. <laughs> I don't, who the hell? I don't know. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, they have another song called uh, Shit. I we just played it. It was part of the Mystery Men soundtrack. Um, the fuck is it? Is their most famous song All Star? Oh, it's Smash Mouth. And the name of the tune is... I have no idea. All right. He's got the artist, folks, but he doesn't have the tune. Uh... Got the artist, folks. Oh, the saying is perfect harmony. Oh, I hear the world to snuff the fires. Hey, listen. The obese can rock out as well, folks. There's a, there's a lesson for you. Valuable lesson: Obese guys can rock out too. Uh, very under. You're absolutely right, Ben Ryder. Extremely underrated band. Smash Mouth was good. They owned the '90s. Uh, rest in peace, Steve Harwell. He died this year. No, he died last year, and, and that is too bad. Uh, uh, he was an awesome guy. He loved performing. Uh, he had so much fun, and it was fun to watch. This is one of the. Uh, funnest concerts you can go to really is one of the fun most fun concerts you can go to really big big time fun let's do it again with a bit of music there Vaughn here we go oh god I hate this woman she wears a diaper now by the way Wait. Hold on, I know this. But again, this is one of the this is the this is one that I hope you don't know. <laughs> I hope you get this one. I didn't I, she wears a diaper? Madonna wears a diaper? Yes, she does. <laughs> Just what's the name of what's the name of, again? This is uh this was big in Europe. Very, very big in Europe. Mm. David D, oh, that's no. the wrong name of the song. Right artist, Best West, wrong song. Right artist, wrong yeah. song. Right artist, wrong know. song. Right know. artist. Maybe Both I'll... you guys. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Is it Rap that mad? One? You're close. Gimme, but that's the gimme, wrong gimme. name. Gimme, wrong name. Gimme. You're close. Gimme, 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 gimme. I don't. Hang on. It's not gimme anything. No. You think she does have a song with that in it? No. But that's not it? That's not it. I don't know then. Minor Zircon, that's a fucking diaper. I, a lot of people said it's a fake butt. It's a, it's a diaper, man. 
It's a diaper. <laughs> Are you sure? It's a diaper. I'm telling you. Uh, all right. That is, of course, hung up. Okay. Madonna, huge in Europe. If you were a European club kid, that's what you were. That's what you got. All right, folks. Let's do a little bit more music, and then we'll call it a night. Here we go. Uh, let's see. What are we doing? Oh, I love this chick. She's only about five foot two. This lady. Hmm. Very, very small woman. You prefer shorter women? I prefer the ladies. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. Isn't I mean, Juju? I think Juju is taller than that, isn't she? Juju, five. She's like around five two. She's she's small. She's short. Yeah. Okay. I figured that. But uh, this is a tiny, tiny woman. Tiny. Little, if you will. Uh, Australian, big hits in Europe, huge hits in Europe, had a few huge hits here in the United States, but she was a monster in Europe and Australia, huge. I don't know. All right, going on, man. That's, I guess, why it's important for me to get my stuff out. Oh, yeah, I don't know her. Yeah, I guess that's that's another reason why it's important for me to get my stuff international. Who knows? It could be it could be big bigger in another country than here. Listen, I'm you talking to the original passport bro before passport bros were cool. My current uh, 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 love interest is Russian. Uh, oh yeah, uh, I think you were telling me that. Yeah. yeah so I'm good. Uh, original passport bro. All right, Vaughn, a couple more. Here we go and. Let me do it. Let me do a quick plug right quick. Uh, Mr. Bur you know, Vaughn does plugs really good. He's got it down packed. I got to get it down packed. That's one of the things I'm going to work on this week. Uh, this is a Mr. Burger show. It is a 30 minute animation uh, project that we're doing and we want you to support it. We need big time support here. We're going for $17,500 to get this show three of these produced so we can get it on Tubi, Amazon, Freevee, and a bunch of other streaming services all over the world. We want to produce this cartoon, which is about a talking hamburger and all of his idiot friends. Uh, support us, folks. Support us. It's the first episode is split into two parts. The first part, Mr. Burger goes to prison. Uh, he can't pay his bar tab. He gets in a fight. The cops come arrest him. Him and his friends get thrown in jail for 30 days, and hilarity, hilarity ensues. Second part is John Malin. Uh, uh, Mr. Berger uh, picks a fight with John Malin's legendary com comic book artist, John Malin, because he thinks John Malin is throwing dirty, filthy uh, taco bell wrappers on his front yawn lawn, and he challenges him to a fight which doesn't go well for old Mr. Berger. I get the shit kicked out of me. Folks, uh, we need your help. For just 10 measly dollars, that's 10 measly dollars, you can go over and support this campaign and make our dreams come true. We want to create a, a, a cartoon that blows everybody out of the water. We want to create a family guy, American Dad, Rick and Morty style cartoon to take the world over. Anti-woke all the way, anti-politically correct. We say horrible things in this cartoon and you'll love it. So. Don't stop complaining about Disney. Stop, stop bitching about Warner Brothers. You have a chance to make a difference. Support the anti-Disney, the anti-Hollywood, the Mr. Burger Show right now, right there. There you go. Now, that's a better pitch, Vaughn. Yeah, that's a good one. That was a good That See, there you go. That was a very big, uh, you know, that was a really good pitch. And I also think that, too, it's, did you see Disney double down on their stance with Gina Carano? Yep. I, you know what's fucked up, too? And this is the thing. I was right about to, because X-Men 97 looks right up my alley. I was consi seriously considering reinstating just to watch the show. And then they came out and said that. And I'm like, wait a minute. You so, know what, Brian? If you, if you need a copy, I got you covered, if you know what I mean. All right. Wink I might. Wink. Wink I might. Wink. <laughs> I'm supporting but Gina. All right? That's my girl. 
Hey, I love this kid. <laughs> when Bobby yeah. does it like that, I love this kid. All right, uh, uh, let's do a couple more, and then we'll get you in. Uh, get that last plug in for you, Vaughn, and we'll call it a night. Here we go. Uh, I'll reach out about the X Men stuff too. I will. I got you covered if you know what I mean. Here we go, Vaughn. You may know this one because it was kind of everywhere. Here no, we go. That's it. Is it going to be everywhere by Michelle Branch? No. Oh, okay. Because that would have been a funny segue. That's why I asked. <laughs> that is Christopher Walken legit doing the dance. This was everywhere. Commercial, television show. This was everywhere. Any idea, Bob? No idea. It's coming up. Give you a second listen. Here we go. That is, of course, uh, that is, of course, uh, a weapon of choice, Fat Boy Slim. Mm. Fat Boy Slim, weapon of choice. Huge, huge hit. Huge hit. Mostly because of Christopher Walken. And but I think he was like 65 when he did that, which is very impressive for an older gentleman. Uh, uh, all right, one more Vine. We'll call it a night. Here we go. Uh, let's see. What's the last one? Pick a decent one, something that's not going to make us throw up. Uh, God, I don't have any. <laughs> I don't have any decent. Okay. Uh, this is cringe. Sorry, we gotta end. We're gonna end on cringe. Yeah. Uh, Ain't no holla back, girl, by Gwen Stefani. There it is. We My end on a weird note. Listen to this. It was cringe, Quite but a bit. but uh, but uh, but Vaughn got it. Vaughn got it. My sister was a big Gwen Stefani fan when I was little. Ah, I understand. Folks, Vaughn, this is the best quiz Vaughn has ever done. Yes. I don't know if I'm proud of anything, but I'll take it. Listen, my sister, you know, my sister knew it, so. I'm telling you, Vaughn, Vaughn did very well tonight. Mark it down in your calendars, folks. Uh, Vaughn, tell us a little bit more about this uh, great book you got. Here we go. So Phenomenova, if you're sick of, uh, if you want to bring back that spirit of those X-Men comics or just any comics you love, but you uh, want to have it, you know, a single creative voice, someone who actually loves the superhero genre, who's not trying to, you know, subvert it or weaponize it. If you want something that's going to be a continuous vision and really just tell the next generation of stories, I got you covered for the 60, uh, 64 page first issue of my new comic book, Phenomenova. It's going to have three variant covers upon launch, in addition to that one main cover. Uh, one by my friend Sukesha, one by Jules, uh, hey Juju, and then Rini has hers that she's working on. And every backer, because I understand you're taking a chance on, a, on an unproven creator, if you back within the first 24 hours from the mailing list, you get this exclusive free trading card. And there will also be a mini print that you will all get if you back the book. Um, it is something that you're going to want to check out. So make sure if you're, if you haven't taken my word for it yet, perfectly fine. Read the sign up page, watch the trailer. And we do have a fan art contest and the winner will be printed in the book. So all that stuff be there Friday night. I'm going to be on Rini's channel launching. Will Juju draw Cecil into the comic? She's not doing interiors. So, uh, she lists, uh, no, probably not. Um, but she did do the trading card and she did do one of the variant cards. So, all right, there, Vaughn. Uh, one last plug for old Mr. Burger, the cartoon. There, listen, folks, you back this thing in the first 30 days and you will get a prize, you will get a free item. Either a, I mean, I tell you what, I may even throw in a t shirt uh, or a coffee mug or a poster, uh, with a bumper sticker. Back this in the first 30 days, my friend. Uh, there you go, Vaughn. Thank you for dropping that in. Uh, there we go. And uh, here we go. I'll drop that in. And uh, let me drop my link in here so you can get to it. 
um, you back, you click the link, you back this book <clears throat> first 30 days and you will get a, uh, uh, either a t-shirt, coffee cup, uh, poster or with bumper sticker, uh, the Mr. Burger show, all the things, uh, you want to say, but couldn't talking hamburger misadventures, all that good stuff like that there <clears throat> go on over, click that link, back that book. $10, $15, $25, but back the book. We need a, a substantial amount of funds to do this and get us out there. It's one thing to keep bitching about the mainstream. It's another thing to do something about it. And the Mr. Burger Show is the something about it you need to do. All right, folks, we appreciate you watching this stuff tonight. Back Vaughn's book at the end of the week. Please remind me, Vaughn, to go ahead and back his book. And uh, uh, we're going to call it a night. Hey, we did an hour and seven minutes. All right, that's great. Uh, um, uh, anything else on uh, as we sign off? Oh, I don't think so. I might be going live tonight, to, depending on. I mean, I got. I'm prioritizing my work, but uh, keep an eye on my channel. I I don't promote my channel enough from post streaming on there, but just do my name, Vaughn Coleman. Subscribe to that. I got a video essay, like a two hour video essay. I'm dropping on Final Fantasy Seven. I I stream there. My interview with Kelsey Shannon had the most activity I've ever had in a chat. Crazy. Um, but yeah, um, definitely do that. All right, folks, catch up with Vaughn over a little bit later on tonight. I uh, might be playing Final Fantasy VII tonight. We'll see, depending on my workload. But and Mr. Burger is most likely going to go and get drunk and then go to sleep. Uh, that's the move. Cranberry vodka, it's a killer. Uh, let's uh, let's wrap it up, folks, uh, with this. This has been your boy, Mr. Burger, the vicious Von Coleman, still the reigning lightweight heavyweight champion of the upper Minnesota Valley area. Uh, in rep pro wrestling, the kid can't be beat. He uses he uses the claw to put his uh, opponents in submission. No one will ever beat Von Coleman. He will hold on to that belt for the next twenty years. All right, folks, we're gonna see you later, and uh, that's it. Oh my God, Von, I can't find the outro. I can't find the outro. Where's the new outro? Where's the new outro? Where is the new outro? The fuck is the new outro? Ah, God damn it! Where is it? Where, uh, where's oh yeah no, the, no that's not it we can't close the show without the outro i moved it up ah damn it this is uh somehow this is uh Don't raise it! Don't raise it! Don't raise it! it's racist for some reason i don't know mm. uh where the hell is the outro man oh. i'll just i'll fucking do the old one all right, uh, 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 folks, this is not the official outro. For some reason, I lost the outro for some reason. Uh, I, I will just do this and say goodbye. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Uh, we're out.